Hello and welcome to The Little Simple Life, a podcast about living your most intentional, inspiring life. I'm Amy, 30-something mum of two, living just outside London. These podcasts are love notes from me, sharing the things I know I would want and sometimes need to hear. In these episodes, I'm going to delve into what it means to walk a different path, from educating our children outside the school system, to living in a small home by choice, surrounding ourselves with a life of intention instead of living a life of default. I welcome you to come on this journey with me, to open your heart and mind to a different way of living. I hope you find what you're looking for with the words of these podcasts, and I hope they speak to you in your own unique way. Okay everyone, we're doing it. Today's episode is about home education and today I want to share with you why we are going to home educate our children and what it means to us. I imagine that this episode is going to be part of a much longer, long running series where I talk more in depth about home education. But as a starting point today, I want to explain to you why we decided on home education, why it's important to us. Here we are creating an inspired life, a life by design and not by default. There is so much joy in following your own path and seeking wonder to fill your child's precious early years. My wants for my daughter and my son are that they are surrounded by the freedom to explore their world, to express their love for what matters to them to be guided by their own self-belief and to experience a childhood full of wonder and beauty. Time moves so fast and it's my dream to give them a long and slow childhood. I don't want them to feel the pressures of being an adult in this world before they have to. I don't want them to be in a rush to grow up. I don't want early interludes into academics I want a childhood filled with their passions, their loves and their interests. The biggest and most radical contribution that I can make to this world is not in who I am or what I do. It's in the little people I have the greatest honour of raising. It might sound strange to you, given that our children are still so young and we're talking about education, but actually... Home educating has been in the plans all along. And let me be honest here, it's kind of a weird time to stand up and say, hey, I'm going to home educate my child by choice. It's early 2022. The emergency slash crisis schooling days of the COVID-19 pandemic are not that far behind us. Parents were forced to bring their children home and to undertake emergency schooling with them. This is far from what true home education really looks like. That being said though, standing up at any time and talking about home education can be kind of scary and a little bit nerve-wracking. It's something that can really be open to a lot of judgment, particularly if it's something that people don't know too much about. My daughter is just turned three and my son is eight months old. So I guess it seems like it's a little early to be talking about education. But actually it's not. That comes from a schooled mind, a mind that is used to children starting school sometime between the age of four and five. For us, home education happens from birth and it's not about numbers or learning science or writing essays. It's just doing life. Home education has always been in our plans and the current COVID situation played no part in those decisions. It's something that has been in the work since before we even had children and became a much more serious conversation through my first pregnancy. And it's also become something we have both been even more passionate about in the years since. Because home educating looks so different from school, we've been putting our home education plans into our daily rhythms since birth. It's a conscious thought in our brains and it's not even a blip on the radar to our daughter. It's just something that happens. For us, home educating isn't an arbitrary point in time where we decide they can go ahead and start formally learning. 
We've been teaching our children since the day they were born. Not just us, every single one of us. It's a progression from birth through life, living and learning together. Children don't magically get to the age of four and suddenly we are unable to teach them anymore. We've always had the ability to teach our children. Home education is freedom, an abundance of possibility, and most importantly, it's about following their interests wherever they may lead. It's allowing them the freedom to blossom into the people they were destined to be without the constraints of a system that cannot possibly cater for every need, want or desire that they have. It's about living an intentional childhood, wonderful in its uniqueness and so beautiful in its composition. It's about not spending over a decade in a forced space, a space that tells them what to learn and when to learn it and how much they must remember just to be able to pass some arbitrary benchmark. Home education is a journey that is so uniquely ours and so uniquely theirs and I can't wait to see it unfold. Home education is a supremely personal choice and it's always funny to talk about it. People still do that, oh, okay, well, I couldn't do that with my kids or wow, you're a superhero or maybe even... I definitely wouldn't want to have my kids around that much. And I do get it. I really do. It's either those things or people start going on about how school is the best place for their children. I think they think I'm some kind of recruitment drive and that I'm going to try and recruit them into the world of home education. It's so not the case. I don't think home education is for everyone and I don't think everyone wants to do it. And that's perfectly fine. And I mean this in the kindest way possible, but I'm not concerned about how everyone else is raising their children and I'm definitely not worried about the educational choices of others. Like I said, home education is such a personal choice and it's different for every single person who makes it. It's not just having them around us more and having them by our side than I would if they were educated within a school system. It's about making a choice for their education that we believe is the better option for them. There is no one on this planet that knows my children better than we do. And there is no one on this planet that is going to ultimately care about their education more than us. I know that the education system is full of wonderful teachers, TAs, support staff and many others who care so much about their children that they deal with on a daily basis. But they aren't me and they will never care as much as I do about my children. Home education fits in perfectly with our life, a life that we create by design and don't just live by default. We don't live by the way that society says we have to live. We are here forging a different path, a path all of our own, and it feels so wonderful and so inspiring. I get giddy often thinking about the fact that I get to home educate these little guys. Now, I will say, I do have some very strong opinions about the school system. And that's not meant as judgment. If you decide to educate your children in a different way, that's completely up to you. But I do have some strong opinions on the school system. I used to hurry out this statement of, oh, but I'm not anti-school. And I'm not anti-school for the most part, but I am anti-school for my children. There is a lot about the system that I don't love and we are going to unpick it and unpack it in future episodes. I can promise you that. School has to exist and I have no issue with others' educational choices. Do I believe the school system needs reform? I absolutely do. Do I think that that will ever happen? No, I really don't. School functions exactly how it was intended to function. School is how it was set up to be. School is doing what it was intended to do. I'm so grateful to have this space where I can share openly about our home education journey and about our thoughts and feelings. Don't know where our home education journey will take us, but I'm so excited to find out. And I know one thing's for sure. I'm sure this will grow and evolve as we move through life with our children. We're really passionate about the unschooling philosophy. 
And for those of you who aren't from the home education space, I'll explain a little about what unschooling is. Unschooling is learning by living. Rather than following a set curriculum, unschooling is unrestricted learning. It follows children and meets them where they're at. It allows them to develop their own curiosities and passions and uncover them and discover them in their own time. We love the idea of unschooling. We love the idea that we can allow our children to follow their own interests. That they have the flexibility to learn in creative ways in a time that is set by them. We're excited that it can prioritise our children's relationship. Siblings are so often split up within the education system in the name of socialisation. Yep, socialisation. I said it. Well... I'll go into socialisation more in a later episode, I'm sure. But for now, let me just say this. Siblings are our first friends. And we spend so much time at school, so much time away from each other and from our family. Prioritising that relationship is so important to us. Also gives us freedom to be flexible, not having to stick to structured timetables or curriculums. It is creating a life truly of freedom. Unschooling allows children to be in control of their learning. As their parents, we aren't teachers, but we facilitate their learning. Unschooling looks so different from standard, regular, compulsory state schooling. And that's because it's child-led and it's beautiful and it's full of freedom. We're so excited to embark on this home educating adventure with our children, living life by their side, living, learning and growing together. I know home education is a wonderful choice for our family. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. Home education is such a personal choice and it's kind of scary putting it out there sometimes. I would love to hear what you think about home education and how you plan to educate your own children, whether that be home education, flexi schooling, or within the school system. There is so much we can all learn from each other. 